just five minutes in closing. Uh, I want to thank these two speakers for uh, answering those questions. <clears throat> so just a few reminders and, uh, and final thoughts. Um, I think you've all been given a, uh, a handout of just a, uh, a survey to uh, let us know what you thought about this year's symposium and then hopefully to uh, provide comments about how we can do it better. This was obviously an experiment with respect to the really active part over lunch. Um, so it was a lot of walking, a lot of uh, uh, back and forth. Hopefully you, you kind of got behind the walls of Fred Hutch and saw a little bit about what goes on. And hopefully you'll have some take homes about exercise. As I think I mentioned, we'll try to do a YouTube video of those very simple but very effective exercises so you can see how they happen. So we will be posting these, uh, as I mentioned, to YouTube. Um, we need ideas for future topics, so you could email NOLA or uh, fill out the, um, the survey. We really value your feedback. Some of the changes that we did this year were in response to those feedback. And then we're always interested in advocacy, um, both locally uh, and nationally. And I've listed uh, two contact people here on this slide. Again, these will be up on YouTube. So how do we reduce mortality? It's prevention early detection and treatments for advanced uh, cancer. So our mission really is focused uh, on doing that. Here we go, sorry. Might have been able to see the slides there. Maybe it fell asleep. There we go. Um, yeah, so those are the basic uh, things. Those, these are some of the major efforts ongoing here in terms of research. Um, in terms of prevention, I, I think, although that's been extraordinarily challenging in any type of cancer. Some things are simple in terms of smoking reduction in lung cancer and other cancers. It's been very difficult to have some intervention that um, reduces cancer incidence or risk. You may be aware that many years ago there was a very large randomized study of a drug called finasteride. This drug was originally developed for baldness. Um, so Bruce and I probably should be taking it. Uh, <laughs> but we're not. So it's also useful for reducing the prostate size and helping with benign prostate hypertrophy, i.e. helping urine flow. So there was an idea that this could also reduce the risk of prostate cancer because you're reducing the androgen effect within the prostate. There was this very large study and it showed a very dramatic reduction in the detection of prostate cancer, about 25%. But the concern was that those cancers that were detected were of higher grade and were more aggressive. So the drug was not approved, finasteride, or a sister compound, dutasteride. Neither was approved, and in fact, a black box warning was put on these drugs to say it could cause aggressive prostate cancer. Fortunately, there have been some continued follow-up of these men. This particular study was just published a few uh, months ago in the most prominent medical journal, the New England Journal, where a group here at the Hutch looked at um, just um, death records for men that were enrolled on that study using big data. So they could mine uh, insurance and mine death certificates uh, all around the country because this was a national study. And they followed then what happened to those men that actually took finasteride on the study. And they showed now that there's a reduced death rate due to prostate cancer that for the men that were on that finasteride study that were taking finasteride. So it has caused us to rethink maybe we should be using something like dutasteride or finasteride as a prevention. So to be continued, stay tuned. Um, but there is still work thinking about prevention as well as uh, early detection and treatment. So coming back to the advocacy piece, again, we're always interested in your input, your drive, your motivation, your participation. Um, it's important to keep Congress on task to continue to help support cancer research, cancer treatment. These are the statistics, one in two men, one in three uh, women, one in 300 children will develop cancer. So Congress has been very responsive. The National Cancer Institute budget continues to increase the Department of Defense funds a substantial amount of research into prostate cancer, but it's because of your advocacy, um, writing your congressman, telling them how important this is. They listen, and they do continue to support those efforts. Even the state of Washington, so you may not be aware, but there's been an initiative to use some of the tobacco tax money and now probably a vaping tax money to help support cancer research. This is called the Andy Hill Fund, and it has been uh, catalytic in bringing 
very prominent new young scientist to the state of Washington, uh, and also supporting some cancer research all around the state, not just uh, here in Seattle. So we're very fortunate that the state has been committed to uh, helping to support cancer research. So I showed this slide last year. Um, Johann van Goethe, who was a very prominent philosopher in Germany, knowing is not enough, we must apply, wishing is not enough, we must do. Uh, and the Star Wars version of that is do or do not, there is no try, right? <laughs> so that's the Yoda-ism for you. Um, and then finally, um, many of you probably read in the Seattle Times and other places, Bill Gates every year has a book list of books that he read that he thinks are very uh, important, uh, influential, and that he particularly found interesting. So. I do the same thing in my lab, my research group, once a year. I tell them about interesting books that I read. I haven't read this one, but I think I might. Um, I think this is a, a great title. Think as your life depends on it. I need to read deeper into this, but um, I thought it was kind of a, a funny title that may be quite interesting. And then finally, I do want to thank all the mothers that are here. Um, we are kind of co-opting your weekend. Uh, to engage in this particular symposium. So I got approval from my wife to be here and do this. Um, and uh, so I want to thank all the mothers that are here and all the mothers that are not for allowing us to, uh, to have this symposium on, on their weekend. So thanks again. Um, take care. Safe travels. Thanks.